Hello. In this video, we'll show you an example of data call campaign setup for online store product data extraction. Subsequently, you can use the extracted data to input it to your own online store. So, we start a new campaign wizard. Set up input data. Usually, these are links to catalog or website categories we extract information from. Note that data call will start website crawling with these links to eventually find the needed data. On the next step, we show data call how to get from the starting category to the specific products. The software looks for the needed data in the same way as user does. Data call just follows links on the website. Thus, we need to map a route for data call to get from input links to the product pages. For this purpose, we'll use XPath expressions. XPath expressions address different parts of a web document. Data call uses them to find data for extraction and to find links to follow. For fast XPath selection, we launch data call picker. Now we need to decide what links data call should follow to get to the pages containing complete product information. Naturally, these are product links in the first place. To pick up XPath for all product links, just click on one of them with the left mouse button. Then we use expand button to adjust XPath to match all product links. Instantly you will see appropriate XPath expression in the XPath selection area. It is automatically saved to the XPath's list as well. This list will be ultimately used by data call. In the links area you can find the list of links which can be extracted with this XPath. Ok, now data call knows how to find product links. But in this case we will gather just the first catalog page product links. So, we need to show Datacall how to get to other catalog pages. Note that other catalog page links are arranged on the web page in another way in comparison with the product links even by site. So, we need to pick up separate XPath for them. We add a new XPath for this purpose. Then we click on one of the links and Picker automatically picks the needed XPath. So, making several mouse clicks, we set up data call website crawling route. Now we just need to click the save button to save picked XPath expressions in the campaign configuration. Now when data call can get to the needed data, we have to explain to it how to extract them. We start from the setting data field list we need to save. For data extraction, we use XPath expressions as well. We launch Picker again. Before setup, we go to the product page where the needed data are allocated. Note that when Picker is started in the data gather mode, the data field area is present in it. In this area, you can find currently active data field name. We need to pick up XPath to extract product name. For this purpose, we click on the product name with the left mouse button. The picked XPath immediately appears in the XPath selection area. It is automatically saved to the XPath's list as well. When we click on the Save button or Get to Next Data Field Setup, this list will be automatically saved to the current campaign configuration. Note that the product name is automatically marked with the red frame. XPath selection accuracy is verified by the found web element source code. It is displayed in the found matches area. Similarly to the product name, we can identify XPaths to save other data fields.
When we reach the last data field, we just need to click on the Save button. And finally, we should raise the Remove Text flag for the description field. Thus, we finish the data extraction setup. Now we close the wizard and go on to testing. We click the Launch button. In a while, we see data collection results appearing. We see unwanted string details about in the beginning of each product name. So we stop data extraction to fix the campaign. We replace details about stream. Let's launch the campaign once more. After the campaign is completed, all the extracted data will be saved to the Excel file. By default, it is generated in Documents folder. The file name matches the new campaign name. Note that the extracted data save format can be overridden. We will tell more about that in our next videos.